Hi and welcome back to the Roland the Robsons. This week we're going to talk about the top five kind of sites or places or things we've done in 2021. Now as you know in 2021 we didn't get off to the best start in the world of caravanning or motorhoming. In England we must therefore go into a national lockdown. Which... That's because basically we found out that we were still in lockdown so we couldn't get away. I can't remember does it Back end of March, start of April, so that the start of the season was totally taken out for us. But we still managed to think of five places we can take you on a little journey of where we've been this year and where the best parts have been. This video is a collaboration with other YouTubers and you'll be able to see their playlist at the end. Let's get straight to it. So there's quite a few places we've been in and actually there's no particular order that I would put these places that we've been to in, well, in an order I suppose. So basically I would say the first place on our list was when we went to Whitby this year. We went down to Whitby, we went to the campsite that was a little bit outside, really lovely CL, um, great place and the experiences around there were just great. We got to do lots of things, we went to Whitby itself, we went to see Whitby Abbey while we were there, we went to see waterfalls, we also went uh, to a cafe that was there, it was like a really idyllic sort of setting. And we just, because of the weather, managed to got to do lots and lots of really interesting things. The one thing I noticed when I looked at this list here is that all the places we had to have was good weather. And when we were at Whitby, it was amazing weather for the few days that we were there. And that made a massive difference because it meant we could get out and about, we could do things, we could kind of go out on the campsite. Uh, there was nothing kind of out of bounds because of the weather that we got. So Whitby was one of the great places we went to because we just had several days of beautiful weather, lots of amazing experiences and some great food. Another place we went that wasn't a million miles away from Whitby itself was Saltburn. Now I went on my own as and I didn't go with uh, Lucy and it was just me and the three girls but that was a great experience a lovely little CL that we went to not too far from Saltburn go to go down to Saltburn on the little train round the park buying chips then we went to Staves for a day and again it was just a location where there was lots and lots of things you could do on that occasion the weather was reasonable it was pretty warm um, but we did have a little bit of a cooler time as well but it was just a really good experience it's not too far away and that's thing I find, the three things that are on the list here, a place that weren't particularly mega far away. Because I think sometimes if you take a long drive somewhere, and then when we get there, the experience is not what you're expecting, not as good as what you're expecting. I think that has a little bit of a downplay as well, because you're kind of like, well, I've driven for hours and hours, and it wasn't what I expected. So, yeah, Saltburn is an area that we definitely go back to. Hopefully we'll do so this time, because there's still lots to explore around that area. And maybe we can get her to sit on the little train, or go down the pier. Great place. Remember to show that you appreciate the work we put in and enjoying this video, we'd like you to smash the like button and if you're not already, hit the subscribe and the bell. So the next place on our list was Great Yarmouth. Now again, there is a reason for this. We went to Norfolk, the weather was pretty much shocking most of the time without it was either rain or when it wasn't rain it was blowing a gale and it was freezing cold. So when we got the Great Yarmouth, the weather actually picked up a bit and it was actually sunny for a couple of days. This again made a great difference because we got to go into Great Yarmouth itself. And also around the area, I think because the middle part of the Norfolk trip had been a bit of a washout, we started to spend a bit more money. I think that had a bit of an impact because we got to go on the broads. We went to Great Yarmouth itself. Obviously, we went to Great Yarmouth, we bought chips, we bought food. Where we had been a little bit tight up to that point. I think just opening up the purse strings a little bit helped us quite a bit on that part of the journey. Um, Great Yarmouth was exactly what you expect. It was very tatty, it was very seaside commercial, but I thought it was a nice day and the girls really enjoyed it. Getting to explore and getting to buy random tatting shops that we'll never use again. Another great place we went to this year was near Holy Island. I've been to Holy Island many, many times before and it's somewhere I've always really enjoyed and it's quite a special place to me, but also Lucy when she was growing up. So we went up to Hall Island on our own. We didn't take the children. Maybe that's why it became a better experience. No, no, seriously. I don't think it was quite that. Although, obviously, like I said, that did help not having the children. We could explore a lot more. Again, what was the factor, apart from the place being beautiful? 
the weather was stunning. It was absolutely boiling about nearly 30 degrees. So that meant again when we went to Holy Island we could explore the whole island and because I know it quite well I didn't kind of just sit in the village we explored lots of different places. Again we had a nice meal the night before uh, and again you know it sounds a bit harsh but when you have got a family you do kind of tighten up a little bit so going for that meal was quite expensive but if we'd taken off five of us it would have been extortion so that made a bit of a difference for us and just that time alone and the great weather to explore and to do what we want and do things on our terms so we could kind of get what we wanted, we could go to bed we wanted and we just knew we could have a complete chill, bit of a relax and yeah, it is a beautiful location for the whole land so if you've not been, I would definitely recommend you go you can't stay overnight with a camper or a motorhome but you can take your camper or motorhome on there caravan, well I don't think there'll be really any point taking it onto the island because you can't sleep with it anyway <laughs> Another amazing place we've been in 2021 was on the Solway coast. We went to a sail called Old Kiln Farm. Um, if you've not been, I would definitely recommend you go five minutes from the beach. But just to get there, I don't know, it just, again, it was just breathtaking. You walked down to the beach area and there was just miles and miles of sand and beach. You could see over to Scotland, you could see all the way down uh, part of the west coast as well. And again, we took a walk into the local village. Uh, got ice cream and things and it was just a really great weekend again the weather wasn't amazing but it wasn't terrible so it meant it, we could go and do things where you know at times when you've got really bad weather being cooped up in the caravan with five people is just not fun I can tell you as much as I love my children all five of us in one caravan when the weather's not great well it's just eh, not the most fun but we got to go out and about we got to do lots of things lots of different experiences in the area and that is one site we are definitely going to go back Possibly and hopefully next year, if not the year after. So all killed far on the Solway coast. And there's another train because we're next to the East Coast mainline. Here in the top left hand corner is a playlist of videos from the other collaborators in this collaboration. And remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button and we'll see you in the next one.